Okay. Welcome everybody who's joined us recently. Sandra, John, welcome. Charlotte, MC, I said hello. I don't know if you heard me, but Bill, Linda, Lucy, welcome. Beautiful. Okay. So I apologize for that. I, I kind of switched my screen over and uh, the beginning, uh, things Chris. got a little bit messy. So um, what, slide, Chris. say again, Tammy? Want to start from the first slide? Yes, I figured. Yeah, so <laughs> basically that was the first slide over here is, again, the purpose is not to repeat everything because obviously you have the audio, but we're going through the success series and we're going through the building, building your list and you can always go back to the beginning of the uh, the session, as I was sharing earlier. And really, the purpose of this training is to help you uh, gather some leads and 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 build that list of yours, which we know is, has always been the foundation of building our business. And again, not to repeat everything, but just to summarize, what's important to understand here is we're going to be going through a little bit of the basics, what used to be, which is quite valid today. But we're also going to be sharing with you some of the updates, some of the things that we do, and we highly, highly recommend for you to do this, and you can do this right now. So back to you, Tammy. Yeah, and as we, you know, we're new in the business, as people get started, I know when I first started, it's all that mental list of who do I know that would want to try these products? Who do I know that would be interested in the opportunity? So it, it often when people get started, it's a mental list, and we encourage everybody to always have an agenda with you, uh, something that you can create a database of uh, contacts. Some people do it by hand, some people do it through a computer database, but we highly recommend that you start creating that database because over the years, you're gonna accumulate a lot of names. Some of you are looking at this video for the very first time. Some of you are listening to or joining us live right now. And you've, you've got already databases full of lists. And kudos to you, because that's what it takes to build a successful business in network marketing. I agree, Tammy. And, you know, some of you will have a written list. And one thing I remember I shared that with Scott Anderson about uh, six years ago. And I say, you know, I was, I was telling Scott, um, you're gathering a lot of leads, a lot of contacts. What do you do with these with, with these leads? How are you accumulating? Because at the end of the day, your list is your lifeline. As, as you know, Active Team has a database, and that other database have been accumulating from scratch. And there's tens of thousands of people, but this it started with just a few people and it grew and it grew and it grew. Why is that? Well, every time someone kind of opt in, you you add to the database. And I highly recommend that you organize yourself not just to have a written list on a piece of paper, that's old school. Uh, it's okay to do this, but you know today, um, dealing with a document that can be lost, um, to start searching, it's a lot easier to index someone through a database electronically than searching alphabetical order, you know, with your books. As you know, sometimes you may run out of space with a certain letter. You know what I'm talking about. So it's important to have a database of everybody you make you're, you're, you're actually in contact with people that might've turned down the opportunity. Maybe they were customer once upon a time, they got off the product. And I'm telling you that there's, there's something that's really, really, there's a huge difference between the professional and the amateur when it comes to this kind of business. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, but I highly recommend that you find yourself an engine. You know, there's, there's Google, you, you, you can have a database, but I know there's a limit. You can't turn around and send thousands of, 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 of emails. Uh, at one point, you have to buy into a database like AWeber or Contact, uh, Constant Contact, and there's many others. And they're like $10 a month and $15 a month. And of course, it increases as your database increases. But as your database increases, your income will increase because you'll have more people that are most likely going to be doing business with you, which will justify the expenses of your tools. So something that's really, really important to keep in mind is to, to always have a written list and accumulate that list. And again, you're looking for people that are ambitious, people that love a challenge, people that are proactive, especially with their health, people who love helping people, 
people who love to lead, people who loves to travel, you know, people who want to make money, whatever the situation may be, you, you want to make a contact list and accumulate that land because there's a no today doesn't mean it's going to be a no tomorrow. A country may open. And some of these folks may have contact in that country. And suddenly, hold and behold, the light just becomes super bright because now I can do something because I have lots of people that live there. I'm just giving you a scenario that occurs for many people. So accumulate your list. Your list is your, is your lifeline. It's, it's like liquid gold. So as you make contact and whenever there's birthdays, you know, celebrations, um, you know, it's easy, to, you know, today it's, we hear it all the time, especially if you're in contact with them, you add them to your Facebook contacts. You're also friends. You get notified when it's their birthdays. There is so many opportunity for you to maintain a relationship with the people that you will. And we'll come back to that in, in a minute when it comes to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and so forth. But one, one thing that's important is start accumulating your list. Don't just dismiss a, a name because there was no interest. I'm telling you, the money is in the follow-up. And it could be two, three years from now, but it's not you're waiting two, three years, right? It just happens that two, three years from now, something occurs that just happens to fit the profile for that particular person if you keep in touch and in contact with them. And you know, I like to I like to create names for my lists. I I like to put diamond lists. It's all about setting the right mindset on on building your business. So put diamond lists. It'll encourage you to increase and increase and increase increase. And as you can see here, professionals are always adding to the list, and that's your goal is to keep adding to the list. And once you start talking to people, you end up getting more connections through those people. People, you start thinking about people you know, and, and things start to trigger for you to start adding more names. So always have that list uh, available. So and and when it when it's in your mind, please write it down. Uh, if you've got your phone, there's a note section in your phones. Write their name down and make sure you do this because we are so busy beings. We all know that our our thoughts they come and go so quickly. So write them down so you don't forget down the road. <laughs> I, I totally agree. I mean, that says it all right there. You know, so the greatest things about being your own boss, folks, is you have complete control. And I cannot stress this enough. And, and the thing is that um, you don't want to, <laughs> something that I know Tammy and I have done often is we, we, we make a contact. And I, I know today I'm a lot more proactive with this, but if, you know, I used to put a name in a piece of paper, I would take that piece of paper, stick it in my pocket and end up on my flight or whatever. By the time we're there, the piece of paper just disappeared. The contact is, oh my God. And I, so it's, what is very, very important is be very, very diligent with your contact list and don't put things tomorrow, right? If you have a contact and a name immediately now, I'm telling you immediately, I put the name. In fact, in real time, I put the name in my contact list and right away I use the board and I will send them a quick little, quick, quick, quick little thing. If it's on Seljivity, whatever it is that you we might have talked that triggered the interest for him or her wanted to stay in touch, I will send them something really quickly. And then from there they have it. And then I confirm that, that we're connected. So this is something is that you, you don't want to, uh, to wait until um, you get to your destination or do it later. I'm telling you, do it in real time. This is one of the great benefits with our technology today. And at first, it may be a little foreign if you're not used to your technology, you're not used to just, just practice. I mean, take in a piece of paper if it's better for you because you may not be used to type it in with your thumb on your phone. But the moment you're in an area where you have five minutes, take that information and put it in your phone immediately. Do not wait till later. So this is, this is really, really important. I'm telling you, there are some people that you come across in your life. And if you only knew the lifeline of what would have happened if that contact would actually been properly followed through and followed up, I should say, and followed through, that how it would have impacted your business. Imagine if you had access to that crystal ball and be able to see all of that. Unfortunately, we don't have that. This is where it's important to constantly keep track of every single bump that comes along the way that you want you, you want to take advantage of and, and be able to, to stay in touch with. So your contact list is extremely, extremely important. And the fact is you can impact people's lives significantly. 
So if someone says, you know what, send that to me next week, or I'll have time next week. What I what I do when someone just does something like that, and and then this is goes back to the prospecting and the, and the, and and the follow up and so forth. But just very quickly, I tell this person says, is it okay for me to call you back? Is a week from now, you know, it's an eternity. And often people laugh because they know, right? They know, like a week from now, you forgot my name. So I says, why don't we call you back a week from now? Let me send you the, the, the information again, and let's go from there. This is how I handle it. For me, it's a response of about no more than 24 to 48 hours. Things as next week, I, in my experience, I've never signed up anybody in my life that asked me to follow up with them in, in a week from now. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It's, in my case, it's always been people that we follow up within 12 to 24 hours uh, making the initial contact doesn't mean they sign up right away, but the the the, the relationship has been built and and has, has been solidified from the point of reference of twenty four to forty eight hours. So if that means if you have anything else you want to add to this, yeah, I just I mean in today's world it's so fast everything is simple and fast and it and it just builds credibility for you as a leader when you're out connecting with with somebody and you you put their contact information in right away and they they were curious about uh Selgevity, for example since Chris was talking about that you can you can even show them the boards and and just show them what you're going to send them you make sure they got that on their phone got it great uh when do you think you're going to have a chance to have a look at it and then you you nail down that time to follow up and I'm telling you, people are surprised when they see how fast it is and incredible it is. And, it, and, it, and like I mentioned, it just brings credibility to you. So learn the tools because those are going to take you uh, to the levels that you want to get to a, a whole lot quicker. And um, I know that the boards has been a, a real lifesaver for us. And we, we accomplish things so much faster now. And we get a lot more done, a lot more connections through that process. Yeah, you go ahead, Tammy. That's your slide. Yeah. So basically, who do you know? Always asking yourself who you know when you're thinking about who do I know in, in terms of uh, opportunity or products in your hot market? I like to categorize my my um, my lists. I don't scramble and put everybody in one list. I like to categorize it. I have my hot market. I've got my warm market, cold market, referral market, which is massive. And of course, um, the capture page is also building your database, which is what Chris was saying. Um, every time you connect with people, you can ask them if you can add them to your database. And every once in a while, you send out information so that they, you know, if something new is coming or, you know, you have a newsletter that you've created, you know, every month you send something out, whatever it is, you've got that database to build on, build upon. So make sure that you create that. Yeah. And Tammy, one thing I wanted to mention when it comes to cap, pa, capture page, I know some of you listening to this or some of you might be listening to this on um, on Facebook Live or tomorrow or next week or next month or whatever, two years from now. A capture page is something that could really serve you well. In fact, Tammy and I right now are working on a training that we're going to be monitorizing. It's a really important training in reference to uh, the mindset of a millionaire network marketer and, 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 and all the important foundation. And what's happening here is behind in the front end of that training, it's a capture page, which we're going to be doing some uh, advertising campaign through uh, Facebook ads. And all of these things will come to you in due time. And because it's, it's something that we're all learning and it's really, really effective and it's inexpensive, you really you can determine $2 a day or $10 a day. Again, it's something for the future, but it's something that I think you should be aware of because some of you might be conscious and, and capable of doing these things. In a capture page, again, it's connected to a database. In fact, I have years of data that's been accumulated through past advertising campaign. And then from there, in return, they get something for free. And if they like what they see, then it can upsell them to the actual full training program. And once they've done all of that and they know who you are, they might even bought the book that we, that we wrote. Let me just give you a scenario on how we're 
laying this out for ourselves. And then next thing you know, it's it's a lot easier to bring them on board. And not only it's easier to bring them on board, but they have a certain foundation to be able to build a business immediately. So capture page, this is something that's going to be coming in the near future. And it's something that could be very, very beneficial. And some of you may have already done that. And I really recommend that you you dust that <laughs> that project off and start kind of bringing it up to light and updating this because this is something that I'm telling you will serve you well as we keep moving forward. So uh, the, the fact here is, you know, your hot and warm market, and, and this is what Tommy and I want to talk about and how you can easily convert complete strangers into a warmer market. And uh, and we'll get to that in, in a few minutes. But what's really important is you're, it's time to think outside the box. You know, in the past, as we were training this and as we were, it was a very simple training. Think of all the people you know, friends and families and all of these things. And we had hotel meetings, invite them. But today it's a, com well, I wouldn't say a complete, it's a hybrid version of that, which has a lot to do on how to gather leads through the social media. And Tammy, you want to list a little bit of what social media platforms are available that, especially the main ones that we recommend for you to be familiar with. Absolutely. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok are probably the, the biggest ones out there today. And of course, there's LinkedIn as well for those who are, are just searching for professionals. And of course, there's other platforms out there. I heard YouTube is, is going to be... Um, coming up very fast on the shorts when yeah, it comes YouTube to short. Yeah. yeah, YouTube short videos um, that uh, they're going to they're going to pass TikTok when it comes to uh, numbers and sales. So there's lots of um, opportunity here. And don't be overwhelmed because everybody who's going to be looking at this training is at a different level. And you have to work at the level that you are and you take one step. So if you are a person that just has Facebook, focus on Facebook. And, um, and you know, there's going to be a lot of trainings coming up, things that you can do to work on Facebook uh, to improve your skills, you know, start sharing photos, doing quotes, doing all, all kinds of stuff, reels, lives down the road. But just... Um, get comfortable on platforms. And the, the goal is always to meet new people and add new people into your contact list of people that are open to have a look at what you do. Now, we're getting into some of the, the details that you really want to take note of, okay? Really important. And I'm not saying you need to learn all of this tonight. You need to take reference of what we're about to share next. Now, I'm realizing that Telegram is not there. Right on WhatsApp, I'll be adding Telegram once this training is completed. But the fact here that's really, really important is we are going through a session of a 90-day run. This is a $10,000, if I may specify, U.S. dollar course that we are part of and is a group of us that are actually transcending the information and we're rotating from Monday till Friday from Eastern time, 12 o'clock till 12.15 or 12.30. Sometimes it might go a little, depend on the, the content itself. But I highly recommend that you are attending. And again, if you're, if you're, if you're not attending um, in, in real time, you can always catch the recordings. So, for example, if you go to our YouTube channel, just search for Crown Diamond Global Impact. You will see the 90 run challenge there. There from from oops, sorry. From day one until I think today is day 36 that we did with Eric. But what's actually been transcended is day 33. No, day 33 is going to be actually tomorrow. Okay, so you have up to day 32 right now. Now, here's something that I want to repeat that Tammy talked about. You do not have to learn and feel that you need to know everything. Pick one or two things and master it. Let me give you an example. I, I am very comfortable with Facebook. I'm comfortable with Instagram and TikTok, and I'm starting to use it a little bit more, a bit more. But Facebook Live is always something that 
I did even back in 2014, even 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then for some reason, I, I kind of stopped using, I stopped doing lives until recently. I don't know if you've noticed recently, I started doing some lives and I'm sharing some points and some leadership and mindset and so forth. And it's actually starting to becoming a bit of a magnet. There's people that we haven't spoken to in about, I'm not kidding here, 15 years. Who actually, it, it was a, remember Tammy, Dan Cattle? Mm -hmm. He used to be our original mentor in network marketing. That's the guy that Tammy and I used to drive to, go to his house and learn the, the, the basics of network marketing. That's, this guy was a, was a millionaire, right? He probably still is, of course. The fact here is he turned around and noticed, and it's not just him. My, my point in sharing that with you is that we, people are starting to recognize what's going on. So I'm focusing on Facebook lives, but in between that, I'll be doing some reels. Um, I'll be doing some lives. I'll be doing some stories and I'm doing a little bit of all of these things as we are testing, but I'm mastering right now the lives. So if you're, if you're, if you're comfortable with, for example, Facebook live, then stick with that. And just, and what's really important is for you to, to take into a habit of frequently doing the process of sharing. So what's your passion? What are you passionate about? And that's what you want to talk about to people, what you are, excuse me, passionate about. Now, before I carry on to the next slide, there's also the Facebook Live that are, are, that are conducted. And it's actually in this group, facebook.com forward slash group forward slash Crown Diamond Global Impact, exactly the same spelling over here. So if you search for group Crown Diamond Global Impact, you will find a group. I suggest that you either like it, right, or subscribe to our YouTube channel either way and start listening to the segments. And I'm not saying, again, you have to overwhelm yourself because it's a lot of information, folks. But I'm telling you, with everything you have there, you can actually create a bulletproof database that can actually completely change your life in this business. This is how much information there is there. So don't get overwhelmed by the amount of information. Just like a buffet in a restaurant, you don't buy the entire menu. You pick something you choose to eat at the moment. Well, look at it that way when you happen to be looking at a training content based on something that maybe you can relate to. Okay, so this is something I highly recommend is to watch the recording sessions. I'm telling you, it will. It is so helpful. It is so informative and it can completely change uh, your approach. So tell me, why don't we start with maybe the first approach uh, that we recommend for you to begin? All right. So number one, uh, your followers on Instagram uh, or friends on Facebook or people who have commented on your post to connect and reconnect with them. This is so important. If you spend all your time just posting, doing lives, but you're not engaging, then your business is not growing. And it's very, very important to do that. Um, Fraser Brooks also mentioned to do all of these um, connections before you go do a post or a live. So now you're creating traction for people to look at you, to, to go and check you out, okay? So always connect with the people who are going through your stuff and go through their stuff, your friends. And uh, yeah, I believe maybe that's probably in the next slide, Chris. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about this later Let's on. Reach out. It's always reaching out to people, always commenting on their stuff. Even share their stuff if you feel that um, somebody can have some value from it. Anything that's going to create that know you, like you, trust you is what, what you want to be doing with your, um, your audience, with the people who you're connecting with. Something I'd like to add to this, and I remember Frazier talking about this, the algorithm is really interesting if you're dealing with uh, Facebook, for example. When you, when you click a heart instead of just a like, the algorithm seems to react a bit better and not just clicking the heart, but actually commenting. And here's the thing. Many of you have many, many friends that maybe you've never even interacted with. Look at all your friends on Facebook, Instagram, if you have any, or TikTok and interact with these people. You could just say something like on, for example, Facebook friends, 
hey, Mary, uh, you know, we've been friends, uh, according to Facebook, for like three years. And I don't know, we've never really connected to I know we're connected, but we never really interacted. And I, I'd love to I'd love to know what you do, or, or maybe uh, I'd love to connect and get to know a bit more about you or whatever you feel is appropriate, right? What I'm sharing may not be appropriate for your particular contact, but you know your contact more than I do. And one thing that's important, if let's say you do a live, many of you are doing presentations now, either on Tuesday or Thursday or Wednesdays or Thursdays, and you're going to find that you may have one person that may click like. Now, if someone click likes on it and you notice, you may want to click on the name of that person and simply comment, hey, John, Mary, thank you for acknowledging the presentation we did. And I really appreciate you showing up. I really appreciate you taking the time. Now, keep in mind, it might be a contact of someone else, but the, the point is you just don't know. What I'm saying is you want to build rapport and you don't want to just kind of, oh, cool, one person liked it. Take, you know, try to go a little further. And this is the point here is, you know, see who your followers are and start there, start interacting, follow what they're all about. And we'll, we'll come back to that a little bit later, because I'm telling you, you may end up signing up a customer or an associate just by doing that. There's 21 people right now on, on, on Zoom, and there's uh, about four or five on, well, it varies on Facebook Live. And, uh, you know, so you, you look at all of that. So that's about 27 people. If all of you just did that, going through your own personal contacts and start interacting and just monitoring what they're all about, you might be surprised on how much business you can turn your way. So and right I, now, I know this, it's, there's a lot of writing. Go ahead, Tammy. It's a suggestion because I connect with a lot of people on social media platforms. Some of you might be doing the same thing. You need uh, a database. You a written uh, database, uh, something that's uh, organized um, on your different platforms. Like I said, category categorizing is something that I like to do. So people that I met through Facebook, people I met through LinkedIn, I'm sure Lucy, you've got that all nailed down and write their names down. When was the last time you connected with them? Because uh, you can get really overwhelmed and you're going to lose people in the process if you don't have that structure in the connection process. I agree. Now, here's the second thing. There's three things we want to share with you here this evening. The second one is Facebook groups. And what I recommend for you to do, and I know that some of you have been following the 90 Day Run. I know some of you are part of the Accelerator, and I hope that you're actually following through on these things. I know I did. For example, I found a group, a Tesla group. I found a group with uh, Ecamm, Ecamm Live, you know, the, the actual software that does their streaming and everything else. And I posted a, a picture of my setting, and I think we're up to 44 people in that group that commented and actually liked my post. And, and that's creating a, a, a monologue and interaction with these people in the group. Now, so far, it's just like a relationship, and I'm very sensitive. And, I want, and, and this is what I want to walk you through on the list that you see before you. So here's the thing. And at the end, we'll have a bit of a call to action, and it's up to you to do this or not. Okay? Nobody's going to tell or check if you did your homework. But if you do, it may result into your increased volume, which will result into an increased paycheck. So you want to find 10 to 12 group that matches with your brand. You know, uh, it's either your business or your product. So for example, we're all Max Associates over here. So what's happening is that the, the health industry, the weight loss uh, industry, it could be uh, we're also in business, right? So you want to find 10 to 20 group and start with one. Don't get overwhelmed by the 10 or by the 20. Start with one. Start searching. Start searching for a group that fits your profile. OK, and the one thing that number two is stay away from network marketing group. Don't be a poacher. Anybody here listening now live or later on, the last thing you want to do is having people frown on you and ghost you and block you because you're becoming you are an intruder. People work really hard in building their organization. And the last one, the last thing they want is a poacher trying to lure them into. So there's so many people, you know, that only five percent of population have been exposed network marketing, not 5% involved network marketing, 5% have been in, have been exposed. That leaves 95% of the people who have not. So you don't need to poach in different network marketing groups. So stay away from that, right? And um, 
And in fact, a lot of the 90 day run is building uh, the, 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 the marketing brain through the, the network marketing arena. And, and you, you may find network marketing groups, uh, you may find different, and it doesn't even have anything to do with network marketing. If you happen to be a movie buff, uh, I tend to be one of those. And it's a group that if I find one that fits my profile, I it's easy for me to interact because it's something that, uh, that I enjoy watching, I enjoy doing. But one thing that's important, and that's something that Fraser mentioned that I do want you to be aware of, if you connect with a group, for example, let's say you're a dog lover or a cat lover or whatever distinction may be for you, and, uh, and, you, and you start interacting with people in that particular group and you're, you're sharing and everything else, I guarantee you, because that's what I do, is they will come back to your own personal profile to check you out. Who are you? And if there is no mention of cats, no mention of dogs, right away, they lost interest in you. So what I mean by that, by having your brand, matching your brand, is you, it's whatever you talk about. Me, I enjoy, I love mentoring. I love leadership. I love mindset. I, these are things I, I it's, it just, it, it just channels and comes out. You know? And I, I, I'm just passionate about it. So when I speak, when I see things like I'm connected with, for example, Anthony Robbins. Now, this is a massive group and Eric, obviously. And, and the fact is, and I love interacting with these folks because I feel on in line and then they come back to my page and they're going to see some lives that I've done. I'm just giving you an example where people may relate. If I'm, if I'm talking about mentoring and leadership and all of these things, they go back to my page. Oh, look at this. I've been doing several of these. And this is one of the reasons I started doing that to go back into that, to, to create some content for, for, to familiarize the people that may check me out. So okay. the goal is to, to join groups that you're going to have a relativity with uh, in the group so that you can easily communicate back and forth and will understand each other's situation or challenges or uh, our goals, whatever it is, but join groups that you know that you can easily connect to people. Correct. Right? Absolutely. And, and this is down for, for you. What's important for you? What is your niche market and people that you can easily connect to? And you'll find that you're going to build um, a lot of new friends, which is wonderful. And eventually uh, new interests as you get to know them on a personal level, because you can you can bring some value in that group and then people are going to go check you out, but you're also going to have people that are going to private message you too. I've had that happen many times. Uh, yes. People would private message me from that particular group because they really liked what I said and they had a question on it. So that was great. So now I have a new connection that is connected to all my platforms and uh, potential customers, potential associates down the road. So that's how you keep track of all of this. And you got to keep track of it because there's a lot of people. Yeah. For example, Sylvie has a weight loss group, right? It's a great group with great content. And I know many of you are interacting with this group, right? So he, here's a perfect environment where, you know, Connected to your name, your group will be listed. It shows actually in your profile groups that you're that you're part of that you created, and uh, and if you're talking to a group of you know people that are you know try to lose weight and all of that, they will connect well with you if you're part of this group and you're interacting in that group, right? And the one thing you see the love button here shows up. This is a very important button, but you oh, also nice. want to add comments, and you don't want to just go after max people. You want to go with people outside of your ecosystem of Max. Otherwise, with Facebook algorithm, all they're going to show you is other Max people. There's really not much you can do about this. They're already sponsored. They're already in the system. They're already sponsored by someone else. So, But it's okay for you to interact with Max folks, but you don't want to limit yourself. I used to do that. I was only interested in all Max people because that's that's my team. That's you know I'm, I'm embracing it. But now I'm realizing, okay, I need to get out because all I saw on my Facebook profile is Max, 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 Max. Now I'm starting to see some Tesla stuff. I'm, I'm seeing other things and other groups. I see some Anthony Robin posts. I see some Eric posts. And so what's happening is now it's, it's broadening. Why? Because I see some things that I like. I will, for example, make, may put a heart if, if I feel good, you know, about what it is that post is all about. And then from there I will comment and guess what, when you comment in someone's post, well, they will check you out. 
This is exactly how this works. And if you have content in your page that makes sense to them, this is how the connection could actually evolve. And one of the things that number six that you want to keep in mind as you are commenting, you always, and I know that this is a really powerful group and you guys are super um, positive and, and, and positive mindset. I, I, we know you guys well. Um, but again, this is really important. I do mention that is you want to spend about five to 10 minutes a day maximum in going through, uh, and I'll, I'll show you another number three and other examples of your, your dream 50. But before I go there, going back to the Facebook groups is when you see content that makes sense that you can relate to a person you can relate to or a post that resonates well with you, you, you want to share, it's called the EVO, encourage value and opinion. Right. So it, it encouraged by saying, you know what, this is so amazing. I just love what you're sharing over here. You bring so much value. This post is actually giving me some great ideas. And you know what? I, I, I really think you should do more of that. You should. You, so, you know what I mean? So encourage value and opinion. When you share things like this, you, you will create a connection with people. And this is what I notice is actually working really well. And I noticing that people are doing this to me also with some of our lives. Really interesting. Right. And so the thing Chris said, I, I recently learned because I'm I'm listening to another training program, which we're going to be we're going to be sharing a lot of our stuff with you this year. Um, how do how can you get some interaction with uh, people in public groups that uh, belong to other people? Is when people are are making suggestions on certain things. And you, uh, you, you love what they're saying. Um, you encourage them, and you say, you know what? I love that approach. But I've also added this too, and I notice that I had more of whatever. That you can, you can add some value over top of what that person said in the comment. And now you, you've got the eyes on you too. But you never took that validation away from that person because you're complimenting them. You love what it is that they shared because it, it's worked for you too, but you've even added something that took it to another level. And you may even catch their attention to go and check you out. I totally agree, Tammy. And the last point we want to share with you here and folks that it, we're just scratching the surface here. This is like uh, week one, two, uh, barely three, actually. And there's so much more content that we're adding. So this is finding your dream 50. And this is not necessarily a group. It could be someone that, again, uh, who's talking about uh, money, wellness, personal development, social media, uh, network marketing. And what you want to do is don't be overwhelmed by the word, by the number 50. Start with one, start with two. And find a third one. And you, you it, this is, these are some of the things that instead of scrolling or watching other people's posts, which might be good to inspire you for you to do your own posts, but don't spend too much time doing that. What's important is spend the time searching and digging. And the thing is like you're digging for gold, literally. And you should have, and one thing that's recommended that was shared by, uh, by Fraser is if they have a following of at least 5,000 people, at least 5,000 people. And within the context of what's being posted on it, that could be a group, it could be a page, it could be a fan page, whatever. Okay, so it could be part of your dream 50, it could be one of those. And when you see a comment that has at least, let me rephrase that, a post that has at least 50 comments, this is the kind of post that is actually could be interesting for you. And that's kind of the, the criteria that we that we're looking for to, to identify someone that may be an influencer. That means that whenever they post something, right, there is uh, there is comments. For example, I, I give you an example recently. Um, and my page, uh, my personal profile is almost 5,000 people. And uh, we do a live. Tommy and I sometimes are together, sometimes I'm by myself. And I noticed that now we have you know, 15, sometimes 12, sometimes 16, sometimes some of them is actually 60. And there's actually uh, comments and, and, you know, feedback. And what I try to do is as they share comments, some, if people just click like, uh, great, uh, looks good, I, I'll, I'll just click a like, but others will actually take the time to comment and give them some and give some feedback some constructive feedback or some, some really good encouraging information or even inspiring information. And I will respond with a heart and a comment. 
And this is creating that interaction. So in same thing, what I'm asking, what I'm suggesting is for you to find people like that, right? That may have something that they posted. And out of that is at least 50 comments. This is a good indication that he might be an influencer. And it could be uh, someone that you might appreciate that they posted. And it doesn't mean that you're going to go in and recruit them. You just never know. They may not even be in network marketing, right? Because if you're not necessarily in a network marketing arena, then it, it doesn't, it's not poaching. So again, so just use your common sense on that. But these are your dream 50. And trying to find, that's your goal. And every day you spend a few minutes and you check what they're all about. What do they post? What are they talking about? And then you rotate among these 50. And then you have these 10 to 20 groups and you rotate among these folks. You see what I'm saying? And this is how you actually build um, your, your ecosystem that you'll be able to or organically draw some people into your business that may be willing to try the product or even be considering being a business partner with you. Back to yeah, you, Tony. Some examples, you know, Tony Robbins is, is such a big, uh, big guru out there in the world. And Chris and I have been following him for years, bought his courses, went through a couple of his courses, get, get the edge. Remember that, Chris? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and some of those. So, you know, big groups like that, there's a lot of people in there. And guess what? All of those people that are, are in these groups are people who want to evolve in their personal development. And that's the environment that you want to be in, right? The, these type of groups and leadership. John C. Maxwell, of course, we're in John C. C. Maxwell's uh, groups because those are the people that either are leaders or want to develop themselves into leaders. So think of all of these groups that you could be part of. Make sure you're part of groups. If you're going to spend any time in any group, make sure that there's thousands of people in the group and not just that. Don't just look at the thousands of people that are in the group, but it but the activities that are going on within that day of day. That is another key thing to look at that we we haven't mentioned. So, for example, I joined this group. It's um, in, in the UK. And uh, in this particular group, they had, uh, I think it was something like 50,000 people. And there's thousands of interactive conversations in the day. I'm thinking, wow, this is a real active group. So I, I want to get in there and get to know these people. I want them to recognize my face. I want them to recognize my my name i want them to see that i'm bringing value to the group why because i want them to come and check me out and to see who i am and the value that i can bring into the marketplace so that's why you want to get into these groups so you can get to know people and make sure you're constantly working on your own personal profile and your own personal posts and videos and reels um, if you haven't done them before it's a good time to practice because people are going to check you out once you start connecting into groups. You know, something I'd like to add to very quickly is a lot of time I will do a video. I will edit out some of the things I don't like. And then I will do a live through Ecamm. Some of you may be familiar with Ecamm. Some of you are not. It's a phenomenal software. It is free to download. You can actually do a live with it. It is free to utilize. Now, to get the pro version, which is what I have, is a bit more features for the, all the things that I do with it. But you don't have to pay, have the paid version to actually do a live with this. In fact, I think I use it for about two years without ever, without buying the pro version. And I was doing, creating a video, editing it the way I want it. And then I would do, in, I would post it on my Facebook page. And it's, it comes across as if you're actually doing a live, but you're editing, you're editing your video in the way that you like it. Right. Because it's not always maybe some of you may have uh, me feel uncomfortable do a live in case you make a mistake. Well, you have to live with the mistake, but you said instead it's too late. It's there. It's out there. But when it's recorded, uh, you can edit out the things you don't want and then you can actually post it. And, and this is why you can have a lot of really professional content. So anyway, so that's just food for thought. But you only need a phone. You can you can build this up with with just a simple phone. Oh no no, this is not video camera. I'm talking yes. with your cell phone, recording yes. yourself and editing yes. it out, editing out. Now the the point here to continue the flow of this training here, Tammy, is one of the thing that's important, folks, understand that the richest people in the world they build networks. Everything else, go for job. They look for job. 
it's really interesting, you know, for years, I see the TV and I see governments and I see people that are always trying to be appealed by the new so-called elected wannabe government, uh, you know, representative, and you keep promising jobs in this. And it's, it's such a dead end. It's, it's a dead end. There's no future in this environment. You're always at the, at the mercy of this environment. And, and that's why network marketing is so important. And that's the difference between the wealthy and the not so wealthy is, again, the not wealthy look for job. The wealthy tends to create, they build network and create. And that's why network marketing, it's a really important profession. And if folks don't get it, it's an opportunity to educate them. Don't get mad at it. Don't get upset. Don't get frustrated. Just understand that's where they are because once upon a time, maybe you were there too. So keep that in mind as you are building. And one of the points that's important is ask for referrals. And when you ask for a referral, it doesn't mean that you're going to dump the product right away or, you know, it's just, it could be people that you have built rapport with through your, your Instagram or TikTok or, or Facebook Live or Facebook Connections. And, um, and someone says, you know, anyone I would love to, um, you know, have an opportunity to take something that can really help them get back into shape or to help them live a, a better quality of life when it comes to immune system, knowing that we live in a deprived immune system community. I got something I can really do. You know, anyone that may be benefited from. And again, from there, so absolutely. And then you may want to send them a friend request and go through the process again. So uh, anything you want to add to this, Tammy? Yeah, anybody, you know, asking people if they know people who are looking to increase their income, to increase their portfolio. You know, it's there's people out there that are looking for a challenge. There's people out there that are hungry. They're looking for income. You know, so you, you, if you ask people, when you have a relationship with people, it's it's easier to ask people. Um, when you When you're talking to a total stranger and they're not open, most likely they're not open to, to refer anybody to you. But when you build relationships with people, regardless whether the timing's good for them or not, you want to be that person that everybody refers people to because you're just so likable and, and people know that you bring value. So they're going to refer you. You're going to be that person. So become that leader that everybody wants um, to tell everybody about. Yeah. And Tammy, why don't we talk about a six degree of, of separation as we end here? Yeah, I mean, talk to everybody because everybody is connected to somebody important, somebody influential. Um, obviously, in, in, in social media, they, you know, they, they're saying pick your target market. When you're walking out and about, I'm sure that if you talk to somebody, you talk to somebody, who talk to somebody, who talks to somebody, next thing you know, um, somebody is related to or, um, or good friends with or have, um, you know, a relationship of some sort with somebody influential. Do you remember that time, Chris, when we were in the, the car and, uh, and you end up talking to the secretary of... Um, um, Oh my God, Donald Trump! Do you remember that? Oh my God! Oh, you're bringing <laughs> something in the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, I that that's a story. I actually call. I almost spoke to Donald Trump. Yeah. This is back uh, 16 years ago, when yeah. I was I was actually it was a dare, and someone had his number, and I said, "Give me his number, I'll give him a call." And in fact, I spoke to uh, his person. I went, I passed the front line. I went to his personal assistant. And his personal assistant was about to get him. And then she comes back to me. And, she, <laughs> and that's when I she realized that, uh, okay, I, I didn't fit the profile to speak to Donald Trump. But this is how close it was. But it's, it's, it's amazing. You know, here's a person that obviously used to be president of the United States. And here I am, this guy from Canada. Now, at the time, he was not. But my point is that I, I was almost connected to him through referrals. And this is the point is you could be connected to every single person on earth through what we call the degree of separation of six. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And there's actually some, been some, some tests on that. And it's just, it's just unbelievable how accurate that statement is. So the fact is you just never know. So never get um, taken back by a person that may not feel the profile that you think could do something. I'll never forget, Tammy, where you remember I met this lady and I told her, oh, you, you go ahead. I, I, I don't have patience. And oh, next, thing, next thing you know, she was, 
I was she was connecting. actually the girlfriend of a gentleman who owned an oil rig. Yeah. And he turned around and he placed an order. That's in my previous company. He placed an order for a quarter of a million dollars of product and he shipped it in England. Mm -hmm. Right. So I made this, 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 this judgment call. And my wife was much cleverer than I was. And she went and dug in for it and she built a relationship with her. And then from there, I came back to the picture and then she went and introduced me to her boyfriend. That's when the whole thing came about. So never prejudge who you speak to because you you may not feel if they match your profile. You never know who they are and where uh, who they may be connected with. And see the so importance of third-party validation, you know, just bringing somebody into the picture that may connect with that person even more that, that can help uh, to, to, you know, to get the business. And these are some things that Chris and I do often. We feed off of each other. And I even do this with some of the associates as well. If I feel like I'm not that person that's, that's going to be as connectable to uh, somebody, I'm going to bring right away. I'm going to think who's, who's going to connect to him. Who's going to connect to him as I'm having a conversation with them. And then from there, then you create the, uh, that connection. And next thing you know, they're, they're interested in open. So don't think because you're not getting that connection with them, that they're not a good prospect because Agreed. use that third party validation. Okay. Assignments. All right, so start accumulating five people from uh, your your uh, dream 50. So I hope you, as we were talking about that, you were writing some things down. Um, look for big groups, people, groups that you can interact, um, send hearts, comment, and um, also add value in that group. And uh, and then of course you want to be you want to be adding people to your list always. Um, you want to make sure that you send a quick message to connect with followers on Instagram, uh, friend, Facebook, uh, set, set a timer, please set a timer because time flies and you can lose yourself in doing this. And so as many connections as you can in that 15 minute timer that you put on your phone and then move on to the next thing that you need to do to, to build your business. And here's uh, and a perfect time, Tammy, right? Sorry for cutting in. I just want to, because you, you have the perfect setup where you and a few of your leaders here have sessions at 7.30 in the morning. There's another one, sorry, at 7 a.m. and the one at 9 a.m. And I think, I don't know if there's others. These are perfect moments. These are 15 minute segments where technically for you to do these things. So if you connected this every day from Monday to Friday, take the time right there. This is what you do. Search for those dream 50s. Don't just kind of play with features of Instagram that you're trying to learn. No, 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 no. That's not the time. Right now, it's time to make money. And to be able to make money, you got to find these people so you can start adding them to your list that you're going to be following. So start with five. Start with five. Now, it could be also groups, right? 10 to 20 groups. And then once you have them in place, some could be replaced. And, but then you just monitor. You go through the process of cycling and monitoring, and you never know what could actually come out of all this. So the point here that's important as we end, this is the last slide here, folks, is, uh, all, is, is take action now. Take action now. Don't put that to later, tomorrow or next week. This, this is recipe for failure when you accept that. You know, I'm actually reading the book, um, uh, the, 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 the 10X with Grand, uh, Grand Cadorn. Cadorn. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And it's the guy is, is intense, but he is so accurate and so good. You know, the difference be, be, between being average and being exceptional, it, it's, it's just sometimes it's a fine line. And it starts with this right now is take action now. So tomorrow when you wake up and you go to your session, do it now. Do it immediately. Don't put it to, well, let me figure this out first. No, no, no. Just do it right now. So as we end this, Tammy, what are your thoughts? Oh, as you, as you were saying that, I was thinking of what I have to do right now, right after our session <laughs> uh, to, to make sure that I'm prepared to do my posts and prepare for my reels and my lives for, for the 7 a.m. 7 a.m. group. 
So it's very important to have that structure in the organization so you don't wake up the next morning and, oh, what, are, what, do I, what am I going to do? You know, so you, you want to be prepared, always be prepared for the next day. So you wake up and you know exactly what you need to do to have a productive uh, start of your day. Yeah. And by the way, some of you may actually go buy the book for Grant Cardone at, at 10X. I recommend to buy the audio version because the way there's a difference in the tone of his voice and when he speaks and when you read it. Yeah. So I bought the audio version because I do that in the morning when I train and I listen to him. And it just, it's really, really, really uh, fruitful. So if you intend to buy it, I suggest you buy the audio version. Uh, you can get it on on Instagram on uh, uh, Audible or uh, Apple. I think it's Apple Music or Apple. I forgot what it's called. And uh, anyway, if you have an Apple phone, you know what to do. And I, I suggest to get it. It's it's a really really good book. I highly 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 recommend it. It it might change your mindset in the way you go about living your life. Now he's very intense, but at the same time, is really really accurate. So that ends the session of uh, building your list. And there's so much more. And again, I want to go back to the point of go to the Crown Diamond Global Impact. Uh, you can actually search for that on the YouTube channel and start and search for the 90 day run or go to the Facebook uh, group page that it's called the Crown Diamond Global Impact. And it's actually they're featured so you can see them and it's all there. It might be easier. You can actually go to um, the active team group page. And I have a reference to the YouTube channel and it's, it's right there when you go to the page. So if you scroll down, you'll, you'll see it. And I highly recommend <laughs> you follow this. It might, it might help you follow the sequence of the first one, the second one, the third one for you to be able to have a certain uh, structure uh, as you're listening to these uh, sessions. So that's the end uh, for me here, Tammy. Um, at this point, if there's anything else we want to add as we, as we finish this session, it was a real pleasure to share with the team. So uh, thank you so much. Next week, we're going to be talking about prospecting. I know, I know part of the assignment was to watch the prospecting training because we are re-recording them. I suggest you wait till next Monday. And, but for sure, if you go there, you'll, you'll get the information. And, uh, but it'll be obviously updated uh, on Monday on our next session. Okay, everybody. So have yourself a wonderful evening. It was a real pleasure and goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Bye.